Artificial intelligence is everywhere. For most of us, it's a bit of a new and confusing concept. But visionaries in the field have decades of experience with AI, and it can be especially beneficial in healthcare. Terrence Mills is the CEO of VIEW, and he is here to explain how AI can improve the quality of medical care for all of us. Great to see you. Thank you. I feel that this is a tough thing to explain, so I want to back up and help people understand kind of traditional healthcare and what doctors are up against right now. Why is it so hard to be a, a physician and a provider right now? It's hard to get paid, and getting paid is part of focusing on you and me. Uh, as whether we're a patient or a customer, depending on the circumstance. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also hard because hospitals are overburdened, staffs are stretched, and even though that they're over-administered in a lot of cases, they're still stretched. We're in a particular time where in the RCM, which is revenue cycle management part of the hospital, staff is aging out uh, and there's no one to replace them. Uh, these are difficult times for providers, small, medium, and large, and those are the primary reasons why. There are others, of course, but we focus on those independently because hospitals are really struggling as a result. This is a big conversation here in Florida uh, because we certainly have a shortage of health care providers, and it's hard to encourage people to get into an industry that has these roadblocks. So how can AI help? In a lot of different ways. AI is being used within radiology within hospitals. Uh, it's also being used in the administration of hospitals, both in the admitting, the revenue cycle, and the payments. Uh, and as a result, those are areas in particular that are stretched that we just talked about where we can really focus more on us if we can solve those problems. And AI is helping to solve those problems how? How does it allow a doctor not to have to deal with somewhat not menial, but to a doctor menial tasks when they'd really rather be focused on patient interaction? Yeah, so it's really about improving the quality of care. That's what AI is focused on doing. And quite frankly, that's what technology in a hospital or a provider is focused on doing. Because the theory is, is that if you can put anything into that environment, that helps the doctors not be staring at a computer when they should be working with us uh, during an exam uh, or for that matter spending their time trying to figure out how to put something into the computer and not focusing on us and we find that this is frustrating and as a result doctors spend less time with us as well. I feel like we've all experienced that at a physician's appointment when they're constantly on that lap pad trying to, you know, laptop trying to punch things in or, or whatever. So VIEW has created some systems to make this better. Mm. Tell us how your AI is changing things for providers. Yeah, we're focused on the revenue cycle. And the reason why is because that's how doctors and facilities and hospitals, health systems, they all get paid. And that's part of the problem uh, where I cited earlier. As a result, uh, we're focused on coding and solving the medical coding problem. It's something that humans just don't do well. They've never done it well. And so as an example, you and I can have a good conversation. Uh, humans can do that pretty well uh, <laughs> on an often basis. Uh, but we can't pick things out of a database at random. We can't trend things at scale. That's what our autonomous coder is doing uh, and is capable of coding claims at scale uh, so that humans don't have to do it. But we're not replacing humans, and that's part of the concern that everyone has. Well, your AI is going to replace humans uh, and replace their jobs, so medical coders are no longer going to have a job, and that's not true. Uh, we're actually turning coders into superhuman coders so that they can focus on other areas that are higher value tasks like becoming data driven or working on more complex claims that maybe the AI cannot handle. But we've done more. We've developed an AI powered risk system that evaluates all the reasons why a claim could be denied. Mm -hmm. As a result, providers don't have to wait 30, 40, 60 days to get a denial, they can get it within seconds. And then lastly, we've developed a payment system tied to the risk engine that allows for immediate adjudication. And that's what everyone is seeking because that's instant payments and that's the place where if we go there, cash flow improves. Things happen and as a result, 
doctors aren't worried about money and can sit there and focus on us. And I feel like it comes right back to help us because how many of us have seen a claim denied 90 days down the road and then have to backtrack and make phone calls and that frustrates all of us. You're solving this problem with AI right at the beginning. Absolutely. All right, so that's a wonderful reason how AI is being used in healthcare. And by the way, view as an employer right here in our area with employees in database engineering, financial security, and even medical experts. Uh, for more information on the amazing inroads AI is making in healthcare, you can go to view.com.